Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you haven't been already, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I do a video every week on this channel, and I mainly do gameplay and story time videos on this channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing an island tour of this very cute, very cozy, small town island. And as always, I will include the dream address down in the description below if you guys are interested in visiting this island yourself. And like always, I'm going to start from the airport and we'll take a look at the map. Okay, so we only have like the main resident on this island, which I'm kind of relieved about just because I've been through so many islands where it's like there's like four plus homes and it gets exhausting going through every single one of them. I always end up forgetting a room, but this one's going to be a little bit relaxing. We're off to a great start. Oh my god, Freckles is an odd choice. Other than that, there's a lot of cute villagers on this island. Except for Freckles. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, oh, this is so cute. There's a little smiley face pattern on the ground. Uh, let's go to the right. Oh, it's like a little picnic. That's cute. What do we got on the other side here? There we go. Oh, it's like a little vending machine and recycling area. Oh, it's this little kind of like stump with some mushrooms here. I like the little forest theme throughout the entire island. That first villager home. We'll head back. All right, so we have a bunch of little items here. So we'll pick these up and take a look. Oh, that's cute. They have canned coffee now. I didn't even know they had that. Old milk tea. Ah, we'll hold this one. Okay, so let's keep heading over to the right. Oh, that's a cute little... Island flag there. I like the use of all of the little patterns and little walkways. Oh, almost passed right by here. Okay. Oh, it's a little book stand area. Ooh, looks like noodles, noodles spread out on the ground here. Little mom spaghetti. Little playground. I do like the added detail as well of the hopscotch on the side. And like a little crayon here to make it look like a little chalk. Also a little worried that we have a full on like construction area. And the playground side by side. Just, just slightly worried. Ooh. What do we got down here? Oh, we have like a little farm. I like the use of the little noodle slide. Whenever I put it somewhere on my island, it looks awkwardly placed and just not good. Uh, can we go over here? Can we hop over this side? No. Okay. Wait, what's this? Oh. Never mind. I drank the boba. Let's put this back. What is this? Oh my god. I have no idea what this is, but this is crazy. It looks like something I would grind down wheat with in combination with like making a ravioli. Okay. <laughs> Let's check out. Ooh. A little decorated beach here. They definitely use like a lot of um, like the plastic bag and like little snacks to put patterns on for the ground here. Oh, there is stuff on this side of the beach. We better go check it out before I walk right past it. Okay, let's see what we have. We have a little lounge area. 
a little tropical esque lounge area. A little fish in the sand. Oh, this is cute with a little picnic with the little dog. Oops. Another home. A whole, like, laundry area here. Got all the basins. That's so cute. Alright, we'll head back. Alright, so... Oh, that's so cute. They have a little sign kind of like making a little entryway to the whole little farm that they have going on. I like the layout of this farm. I really like the layout of this farm. Oh, with like the little collection basket. I really like how this is all laid out in each section. But it's not like, like in my little uh, farming area on my island, it's like all one big plot of land. I kind of like how they broke it up. So it looks very cohesive, but like separated all at the same time. Oh, this is cute. A little, it's almost kind of like they have like the bamboo growing, but then they also do with like insects. And they also be possibly smoking those insects. Alright, so we're gonna head back down and make our way to the other side of the island. Okay, so let's head up this way. Oh, I like this with the little alleyway where it has like all the vending machines, the stalls. Oh, look at this. It's cute. A little fishing spot. Adorable. Um, let's head up. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I love this. It's like they're adding like little additions to the house. That's so cute. I like it. It kind of makes it seem like a little simple small town life. Oh, look at this with the little lookout. I love that. We'll head back around. And we'll head over this way now. Oh, we have like a little pottery area here. We're making plates. Oh, a little sprite here. That's so cute. Oh, we have another little playground. Oh, a little basketball court. That's so cute. I really like the layout of this because it's so detailed, but in it's really good for like taking up small spaces. Y'all better be writing this down, because this is actually a really good idea to fill in like a small little space on your island. Oh, we have another little sports area. Oh, a little teeny tiny soccer field. That was a little game. Oh, you can change the- oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's head back. And up this way. Oh, there's like a little marketplace here. And a little like music store, the vending machines. Like there's some like cotton candy and shaved ice with some snacks. Oh, look at this secret beach. I like it. It's really cute, really simple. I do really like the little nautical souvenirs over here too, right by the secret beach. It's on theme. Little 
shopping cart. Okay, let's head up. Oh, this is so cute. I like how they use the- Oh no, I stepped on them! <laughs> well, when they were there, you saw it. There was a little ants running across in this little, like, seating area. It's so cute. Oh, the little mushroom area. Oh, I love this with the bikes parked outside of the Nook store there. And what is this little crafting area? I like this. I know it's like tucked away too, so it's not like super obvious. What is this little bowl of soup on the side? The communal communal dumpling soup? It's funny. Oh, a little duck pond. Oh, can I make my way around? Alright, looks like I gotta head back. And looks like we'll be heading over to the left. Oh, I love this with like the feel of like all the white and blue flowers with the butterfly little figurines in there. That's so cute. Oh, we got a little picnic. Little snacks. Oh, all the little campsite up there. Okay, let's head over this way first. Oh, look. Oh, it is like free items? That's what I think whenever I see like little signs like this. Like on my island, I have one where it just shows like the little picture of like a DIY card. It just says free on it. Almost kind of like a yard sale. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's like a little soup place, a little soup restaurant. I love that. I, I just really like how everything's so small and tucked away. We have like a little cafe here. Oh. Um. No, yeah, okay, let's go up. I just gotta remember that. I gotta explore the rest of the area or else I'm gonna. I'm gonna be super lost. So I'm gonna miss out on things. Oh, this little pathway. Where are you taking me? Okay, here we go. The main house. Oh, that's so cute. I like it with the little pattern of the white and green flowers. Little mushroom farm there. Alright, let's go take a look inside. Oh, that's so cute. The little boots at the front there. I feel so bad now walking around this house with my shoes on. Oh, it's so cute with the little like children's room here. Like the posters all over the walls. Adorable. Oh, look at this kitchen. It's like, I don't know, there's something about it that seems very homey. You know what I mean? Like, this looks like. Like, someone lives here. It's not like an I Almost like a sterile Ikea is what I want to describe like as the complete opposite of this. Like, if you, it's like a lived-in area. Alright, let's check out the other rooms. Oh, this is like a little bathroom. I like this, like the shower just like on. I didn't even see that's like a little little fish watching you. A little little pervert fish, if you will. <laughs> okay, this is so cute. We have like the little study area. It's like oh there's like a freckles. Freckles is just up there with like their eyes on opposite sides of their head. And so oh my god, they're playing Stardew? 
I, I think they're playing Stardew over here. And we have like a little lounge area, playing some chess. Oh, we have the museum posters on the wall. All of it looks like they have like literally every single poster. Low key jealous because my museum is still a work in progress. Oh, <laughs> literally my basement. Like it's just storage for holiday items. Yeah, this is legit. This is this is real people. This is what a basement looks like. Man, looking back on it and thinking about that pervert fish in the bathroom, I actually know a lot of people that have fish in their bathroom. I don't know when it became a trend, but I think I know like three people have fish in their bathroom. Oh, what is this little shrine area? There's a lot of islands that at the top, like the very top level of their island, they have like a little shrine. Oh, another picnic area. Oh, they'll let me through. Oh, a little spot where you can lay down in the grass. I like it how they use like the grass pattern too to make it look seamless. Oh, is there anything over here? No. Nope. Okay, we'll I'll head back down. Oh, okay. I definitely made a wrong turn somewhere, but that's okay. So this is the other side of their beach. Oh, I like how their dock is decorated. That's really cute. Um, let's head up. That's cute too. I, I there's something about like putting like wet clothes or wet items on the beach, just using that little like pattern that just makes it look fantastic. Oh, no. I... Oh, no, I hate this. I hate how big this thing is. It's so creepy. It looks like It's as tall as a person. And it just makes me think of, you know, in South Park, where it's like, crab people, crab people, look like crabs. <laughs> That's a whole, like, person of a crab there. Oh, that's cute. They use a the little pattern on the pillows there to make it look like packaged fish. Little painting area. Can I scooch over? Ooh. Oh, a little bathhouse. That's so funny. Because I have a little bathhouse themed section on my island too. Literally in the same spot. Now, how does one get... Oh, let's see. Oh, it's cute. Let's see if I can make my way over to the campsite. Now is the part of the island tour where I struggle to explore the small areas because I'm dumb. And I'll cut out the footage of me struggling, and I'll just show you the good parts. There we go, I just had to slide through the little trees there. That one wasn't that long. These, these people took my stupidity in consideration when making the floor plan for this island. Man, the, the amount of times that I have just been so lost on an island and just not know how to get to places and it's like the tiniest, teeny tiniest detail. It's like a little arrow painted on the ground. Or you see like a little nib of like a, a ladder or something. Alright guys, that's the end of the island tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I thought this island was like a really cute little cozy island. And tell me what you guys thought was your favorite part of this island down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!